Now it's really interesting that we can understand how the forearm functions in terms of maximal finger strength and fitness, but I think we need to look at other parts of the body as well. Specifically, it's really important to look at the shoulder girdle. This is a limiting factor for many climbers out there. We've got a couple of exercises that we use to test that function. Okay, what I'd like you to do is just hang from the bar in a relaxed position and we're engaging those upper back muscles to create space around your shoulders and neck. I'm looking to see whether you can engage around the shoulder girdle and protect that joint. That's perfect. Now I want you to squeeze your abdominals. And that's going to create a much straighter body and that's the position that we're after. Now I can see that you can engage in that position. I want to see whether you can do a pull-up action in that position. First of all, with your arms uh, shoulder width and then secondly, much wider. It's okay. great, so nice and relaxed. Now engage in the shoulders, perfect. Abdominals again and then a pull-up. Great, so I'm looking to see if there's any differences between each side or each shoulder. Okay, and then if we move our arms into a wider position, and then we're doing exactly the same thing again. So a little bit wider than that. Perfect. What? Yeah, perfect. So engaging again. And then abdominals and pull up. Okay, great. So this we can see a little bit of a difference in what muscles are being used. As right, so the last test we're going to do using the pull up bar is seeing whether we can create rotation around your shoulder girdle into a lever. Okay. So first of all, we'll do it just so you're bending at the knees and touching your toes to the bar. Okay. So hang in position, nice and relaxed. Engage the shoulders and the abdominals and then rotate to the bar. Really good. And back down slowly. Great. Because you're able to do that rotation, I'm going to try and push it a little bit harder and do a lever with one leg straight and one leg bent. Okay. If you don't do it, that's totally fine. We just want to see what movement you can produce. That's it, then one leg straight. Okay, and down. So we've got some movement there, but there's areas to improve. Whenever we're testing a climber's strength using a pull-up bar, there's a couple of key areas in the movement patterns we're looking for to see if there's any weaknesses in the muscles being used. For example, when we're doing engagements, what we don't want to see is an arched back because that's using muscles which we're not testing at the moment. When we're doing pull-up movements, we want to see a nice even movement between both shoulders. So if there's any imbalance, then that's also a sign of weakness. When we're doing any sort of pulling or lever movements, we also want to see a nice static, continuous pull throughout the whole exercise. If we see any sort of kipping using his hips, legs or the rest of his body, then we know that he hasn't got the strength to complete that exercise in control.